for today's video, I've asked my six month old son, Zach, to help me. You're not, never going to see his face because I'm a boring old conservative dad, but uh, he's going to lend us his spine. And what he will teach us is how the seat pan inclination or in my leg uh, inclination can help adjust the position of uh, his pelvis and therefore the posture of his back. I will show you the relevance of that for office workers and the relevance of that for caring parents. When my thigh is sloping backwards, you see that he tends to round his pelvis. It was quite funny to shoot with him because his pelvis rounded and from the moment I put my hand in the lower back, he straightened his back. He's well trained. But normal babies will stay uh, like that. On the other hand, as soon as my thigh is sloping forward, you see that his pelvis moves forward and he tends to hollow his back. So neither of the two is, uh, is healthy, say what we want is somewhere in the middle. But what this shows you is that you can change the tilt of the, of the, of the thigh or of the seat pan to change the position of the pelvis. How do I know when the back is flat? Well, you check the video which is at the end of uh, this one, which is on how to find a neutral posture. But to cut a long story short, when the back is round, I can feel the tips of the vertebrae here, whereas when it's flat, they just disappear. So in practice, what I do when Zach is sitting either on a chair or uh, on, my, on my laps, is that I put my hand in his lower back and if I can palpate the spine, I know that his back is slightly round and I find a way to correct. A way to correct can be change the tilt of the seat pan or it can be put a lumbar support if necessary. But I always start with the tilt of the, of the seat pan if I can. I don't advise you to just push the spine forward because this is exerting a lot of strength. This is why you do try to do part of the job with the seat pan inclination and then you finish the correction uh, with the lumbar support. Why not the lumbar support first? Because basically you will see that it takes a lot of pressure to correct the spine of, of Zach. I mean, he's six months old, but you already need to press very strong if you want to fight against his slouching. And if I exert a lot of pressure, it means that he gets a lot of pressure. I don't want to exert strength on my, on, on my son. It's not the goal. If I need to exert strength, it means there's a biomechanical conflict. Okay? So basically the idea is you try to correct his posture with the minimum amount of physical effort and the less you exert, the less he uh, bears. For you guys in an office, it's exactly the same. Basically, if your seat pan is sloping backwards, you'll tend to go away and round your back. On the other hand, if your uh, seat pan is sloping forward, like on a kneeling chair, you'll do the other way around, which is a hollow back. So what's the lesson from that? The lesson is you start with a horizontal seat pan and then you adjust plus minus two degrees depending on what you feel. But plus minus two degrees, not plus minus 15 degrees like we see on many chairs. Now, if you like all this stuff, you can check out the posture manual in which there's this, but much more on how to sit, stand, carry your kids, etc, etc, etc. You can also, if you need one-on-one -on -one coaching, choose the online posture programs, which are much more detailed and in which we can have face-to-face -face interactions if you choose the 10 weeks program.